Well, back when I rebuilt this lathe, I uh, cleaned up this motor that I bought, and it's got a problem. It, it's a really old motor. It's a repulsion induction, and it doesn't start reliably every time. Uh, I've been told that it's something called a necklace in the armature that's not uh, switching the starting windings. Uh, but we're going to dig into it and see what we can find out. Wish me luck. First thing to do is unplug it. I think I can take it apart without removing it from the lathe. It's a heavy motor and I'd just soon not do that. I've had it all apart before. I just need to remember how to do it. I installed this uh, external lever to reverse the motor, which it did not have before. It's got some brushes in there that rotate to reverse it. So I got to remo remove that lever. Should come apart pretty easy, seeing as how I had it apart not too long ago. Not too bad. This is, this is the weird part here. This brush assembly rotates. And I put that block on there so that I could uh, rotate it from the outside. And now I got to pull this out. Here's my repair job. Now the armature has to come out. What's holding it? Well, there's the armature. And I think what I gotta get to is under that. I'm just not sure how to get to it though. There's why the motor wouldn't come out, the fan was on that end. It doesn't look like anything comes apart on this end. I hope it doesn't. That fan looks like it's just pressed on there and I don't want to take it off. Okay, I found something right there. It's like a little retaining ring right there. Looks like a booger to get off. Like a round clip. Might, might be even worse to get back on. I don't want to mess this motor up. It works the way it is. It's not it's just not working right. I'm right, going to get that booger off of there. Well, I got it started. get that all the way off, how am I going to get it back on? I guess I'll figure that out when I get to it. I don't want to lose that. Okay, let's see what's underneath that. I wish I understood better how that worked. It's an un unknown to me. Well, that's it. That's it right there. And I'm not sure exactly how that works. I think basically I just need to clean that up in there and clean that up too. Maybe some brake cleaner. Okay, I got that fairly clean in there. I'm going to do a little investigating. I, I was going to take some steel wool to it. And then I thought, well, if little metal fibers get in there, I might really mess some things up. 
This right here is the necklace. And it's got a, like a, a spring band around it. And these little pieces all are individual in there. I, I'm sure it's hard to get back together if it comes apart. Uh, I'm going to soak that in, in paint thinner. Right out. Let that soak a while. See what it looks like. I don't know how close I can get with this camera. Right there is a spring, and these are all like brass or copper connectors uh, that that sling out and short out the armature at higher RPM. I'm not really sure how that would affect how it's starting. Uh, if it's just sitting there, if it. And that's what it does. The motor just sits there and doesn't start. Which, I don't know. Maybe it's a brush contact problem with the armature. Maybe just cleaning up the armature will fix it. Because these look like they're slinging out okay. And I think this stops, or like, uh, shorts out the starting winding so that it can go into run mode. But I don't know that. I'm going to have to educate myself. Well, I got that pretty clean with a, a fine wire brush, some detergent, solvent, blew it out. I don't want to take it apart. These little copper things fly out and they're held in there with a spring. I'm afraid I won't get it back in. Right now I'm taking a soft wire brush to the inside of this armature here. I think that flies out and makes contact with this and shorts it out. And uh, although I don't think this is the problem, it, it's a good idea to have it clean, I think. It's new territory for me. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I stuck it in the lathe and sanded the armature down. I got all this clean and I managed to get that little snap ring on a little recess there, but it's got to go down down there. I don't know how to get it down there. Must be some kind of special tool for it or something. Maybe a rubber hammer. Maybe that a like a socket or a tube or something. Look at that. Hey, wow. Never dreamed it'd be that simple. That, that little ring there is a little off center, but it was like that before anyway. Well, let's put it back together, see if it works. thing it's a little dirty maybe I need to clean that up maybe that grease is making those brushes not so they don't make contact they just have to make contact with each other though so that shouldn't be they don't have to make contact with the holder as far as I know it should be all right kind of dirty though The little uh, bearing that I put in there when I rebuilt it. It was a couple of washers in there, spacers that were deteriorated. About, about gone, actually. There we go. Let's give it a try. Sounded good. Uh, 
Well, let's finish putting it together and see what it does. Okay, let's see what it does with a little bit of load on it. You know what? It actually sounds better than it did. Maybe it's fixed. Here's reverse. Well, I'm optimistic. Now I need to fix that cord. I'd like to put that through the same, ran it separate into the box. I'd just soon put it through that conduit there. I think I'm going to try to do that. Crap. Well, wasted money on that. Hook it back up like it was. Hook it in a crack. Well, if I can figure out what thread that is in the motor, maybe I can make a little coupler in my lathe. To use that. Need to come up with something. Bare wires is no good. Anyway, that wraps it up for today, and thanks for joining me.